And I really, really believe that once you understand these mirrors, like you will be able to learn so much about the experiences and you'll be able to find the lesson a lot easier. I can never get it when I'm on the ground. You can never get it when you pull me down. Even when I fall, let's be open now. Something about the space that I honor now. Something about the race to the richest town. Something about this place falling down. I don't want to glow up just to watch you drown. This ain't Holly Choco, we in fighting now. Hey, it's Zana. So I want to talk about the seven scene mirrors. This is part one, so it's going to be about the first mirror, which is the most common mirror that you have probably already heard of. So you've most likely heard of the phrase that everything reflects you or every person reflects you or every situation reflects you it's pretty like a common phrase in the spiritual community and I want to talk about this one and then I'm going to be making videos on the other six because this is just the first one you know there are seven of these mirrors and I guess you could kind of probably create many many more because it's all about perception but the first one basically says that every situation, every experience and every person is a reflection of who you are. It's a reflection of you. But there are also other ways that things reflect you. It's not necessarily just based on who you are, you know? Sometimes it's reflecting you, but it's not reflecting who you actually are. It's reflecting other things. So definitely check out the other videos on all of the mirrors because I feel like it's really important to understand these and then you understand what the experience is and what different relationships and people are showing you. Because they are showing you about yourself, but it's not necessarily who you actually are. But the first mirror is talking about who you actually are. So a lot of situations and a lot of people could be reflecting you based upon who you are, based upon who you are in that moment. Because obviously you change and you evolve and you learn more. So it's based on who you are in that moment. But who you are is not this vessel. Who you are is not a human. You're just in a human experience, you know? Like your true essence is far beyond this and people can call it God, they can call it source, they can call it the universe or spirit or whatever name resonates and feels better for you. But it's all representing the same thing, which is who you actually are, you know? So you could meet someone and they could fully exude the qualities that you have. Like they could be confident and you realise based upon your own self-awareness that they are reflecting who you are because you are also confident you know so they're basically just showing you aspects of yourself and that's what this first mirror is talking about and I really really believe that once you understand these mirrors like you will be able to learn so much about the experiences and you'll be able to find the lesson a lot easier because you have that self-awareness and then you also know the possibilities of what they're reflecting and you can like go through the different mirrors and be like wait am I this is that what it's showing me? Like, are they actually showing me something that I am? No, I'm not confident, so they're not showing me that. You know, like, it's a different mirror then. So let me go to the next mirror and see if it's that. And then once you un uncover what it's reflecting, you can then start to, like, figure out the lesson of what it's then trying to show you, you know? Because it, say it is reflecting your insecurity. Say somebody that you meet has a lot of self-doubt. And you, if you're self-aware enough, like where you've spent a lot of time by yourself and you realise I have a lot of insecurities too, then by seeing their reflection of the fact that they're insecure, you're able to see it from a different perspective, uh, like a different angle. Because when it comes to yourself, it's hard to kind of admit that you have insecurities and it's hard to, you know, it's hard on the ego mind, like it's hard to acknowledge and want to change them because you realise that it's something within you and something that you're doing that you need to shift, you know. But when you see it in somebody else, you could be like, you see their insecurity and you don't really like it because no one really wants to be around a person that's insecure because you can feel that kind of energy you know not necessarily in insecure it could be anything but when you see it and you experience it it's like experiencing it from a what's the word I'm looking for where you're like you're not in it you've stepped out of it you know so like you'll be you're able to witness it in somebody else and then you can then use that to heal yourself and to heal your own traumas and whatever parts of you your belief system that creates that insecurity because they're not always mirroring the entirety of you they could be reflecting who you are but that doesn't mean that they're reflecting every single thing about you it's just one aspect you know 
we have many 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 layers everyone does so i hope this was helpful definitely leave me any comments if you have any video ideas of things that you want me to talk about and you can also dm me on instagram if you need any advice or someone to speak to my dms are always always open and i will definitely reply so all links to my music, social media and everything will be in the description box below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because we are doing three videos a week. You don't want to miss a video elevating that mind, you know, and I'm on my own journey. This is me learning everything too. Nobody is perfect. Nobody has all of the answers. We're all learning. So why not do it together and help each other out? So, but thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down If he a yes man, I ain't keeping him around I need a